Hello everyone, this is Street Skate and um haven't done a vlog in a while so I decided to make a new one and come up with something new for you all. Um I think it'll be pretty cool. So this one's gonna be about just asking you all how do you feel about certain gaming situations I'm gonna have uh, more later on. Um I'm not gonna obviously I'm not gonna ask you the question and you know you just answer. I, I like to give you a little scenario first so you can get a little insight on what I mean. So Let's say, you know, you're a kid and you're interested in, you know, video game graphics, you're interested in how the way the video games are animated and motions and whatnot, and you ask your parents, you know, hey, you know, I want to, I'm interested in, you know, how the way, you know, animations move and, you know, how the way that works. So, your parents agree that, you know, you take a few lessons when you're a kid and you really enjoy it, like, obviously your parents can really tell that, you know, it's, it, it, this is something that's your thing, so, you really stick to it. So. Um, after your elementary school days are over, you say, hey, I'm going to make this a major for my high school. So, in high school, you take all these majors, and you know, this is your main thing. You don't take anything else, and people really notice that you're really into this thing. So, you get all these, you know, scholarships, and, you know, colleges are interested in what you can do for these whole animation things and video games. So, you know, you graduate, and you go on to college where, you know, it's majority is video games and technicians and stuff like that. So you take that, you graduate in a few years, and you say, obviously it won't be long until you go on the company, and then you say, hey, I got an idea for a game. So you create this game where it's, you know, really unique, and, you know, you get tons of credit for, you know, even before the game's released, you know, people are praising you for it, and you release it. And this game gets tons of recognitions, uh, you know, reviewers like it, people love playing this game, you know, everyone likes it. So you say, hey, I'll just make a sequel to it. So you make a sequel, and it gets even more recognition, like, it beats, like, all the hit, all the huge games that comes out, all the huge games don't, get, don't have anything against yours, and you just stomp them, you really destroy them when it comes to sales on this game. So, uh... So of course, you know, you're going to have more fans and people are going to say, you know, hey, why don't you make a third one? And you say, eh, all right, I'll make a third one. So before the third series of this game is released, you make a press conference and you say, hey, uh, this is going to be my last game. I'm not going to make any more of this series. I mean, of course, I'm going to keep making games, but it won't be related to this series anymore. So, you know, this will be the last one. So of course everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, this is the last one, you know, we have to buy this, this we can't just miss this. So, <laughs> so you release this game and it, you know, gets tons of recognition, you got, like, this is a, over a million so like, in one week, and you get, like, so many praises from it, and you, you just beat all the games, you just put them all to shame with this game that comes out. So, you know, you get tons of awards for it, you know, best game of the year, you know, the works, everything, stuff like that. Now, let's say a few more years go down the road and, you know, while you're making other games that's famous, you realize that one of your games that you stopped making gets remade again. And, you know, you see, you see a commercial for it and everything is different about it. Like, you know, your gameplay, the gameplay is different. Of course, the characters are the same, but they're all modeled differently. The storyline is changed up. It's not the way that you wanted it. I mean, everything is different now. So this is where this is where something takes place, and this is where my question is. So you know, you you made this game. You made this game, all right. Someone else comes along the lines and says, you know, oh, I'm gonna remake this without your permission. That's that's one of the huge things about this. They make a game where you you put all of your time and effort into, and they take all of your plots, you know, all of your storyline, everything. They take it and make a game again, the same game. And people, you know, a lot of people don't think that you know that it's this other guy. A lot of people think that it's you. So you know, they make this game, and you like, hold on a second, this is my game. I worked hard on it. Who is this person to make a game without my permission? So this is the question. Do you think games should be made without, you know, the creator's consent? Or should it be made? Or, you know, hey, you know, if 
the person has a different feeling about how the way the game should be made, go ahead and make it. So do you think it's good or bad that a game should be made like that? Because this happened with uh, this happened with the guy who made the Mega Man X series. He stopped making Mega Man X five. He said that Mega Man X five should have been the end of it. But someone else took over because you know the company, I'm guessing the company was really you know, really into getting more money. So they wanted to say, hey, you know, screw you, we're gonna make this. We're gonna take your game and make it a sequel for it. But that doesn't make sense. So that's my question. Do you think games should be made con should continue to be make made without the creator's consent? Or, you know, hey, if the person has different views on how the way the game should be made, then they should make it. So there it is. CC signing out. Hope to see your um, responses in the comments. Enjoy.